The most common form of anxiety I've seen myself and I and me having gone through it is uh, social anxiety. So at a time I would often run away from social gatherings because I'd get very anxious. That and the effect it had on me was very bad, I'd say. Of course, whatever you go through is something that you can get lessons from, but the main effect it had for me was I wasn't being myself. Whenever you see me or if my friends see me they're like oh yeah he's fine maybe he's good and all but i was not good at all at that time and one thing that i'd often do is model myself to look like i'm okay i'd often act like i'm fine there's nothing wrong with me i would uh, act as if it's normal and that caused me to not only close myself off but not live the memories that i want to or have those moments of fun in school and it hurt me a lot it took me time to realize that i need to get help talk about it so one thing i did to get rid of my i wouldn't say get rid of but get better at coping with it was talk about it I really did not talk about this to anyone at all. My friends, my closest friends didn't know that I have this because I just felt like I can't share it with anyone yet. I was still in my own bubble. So I go to my dad uh one day uh and I just tell him that I'm going through this and I can't be myself. I feel hurt and I'm feeling empty inside. My dad tells me that whatever I'm going through is fine and that there are many people who have gone through this before. But the good thing is that I took a step to come out and talk to him about it. So when I did that, my dad was one really happy and two he trusted me enough. He trusted me enough to tell me that everything is going to be fine. Knowing myself, I do some very crazy things, but He trusted me enough to tell me that it's all going to be fine and that I need to slowly build myself up again. And the main reason why social anxiety came upon me was because of the toxicity within my uh I'd say age group. Many a times uh some people would come to me and tell me that I'm fine, that I'm good on my face, but in the back of my and like when I'm gone they they would just start speaking bad stuff about me maybe even go to the extent to spread rumors about me and that really hurt me and one person who i came to know did that that is when like it hurt a lot because somebody who i trusted did that to me and that's one of the reasons why the social anxiety just became worse so i went to one of my school counselors and i spoke to them and they helped me uh find certain hobbies to do to channel my anxiety one of the things i normally do is go jogging in the evening and through that that was one of the uh, that was one of my main coping mechanisms to get through social anxiety when i sought help i felt like a burden in my heart just got lifted i could finally be myself i can help other people realize that you know what It's fine to go through social anxiety. It's fine. But when it when you can't deal with it on your own, you need to seek help. You need to trust somebody else to help you heal. And somebody who's normally a professional is the best person to get you to heal. So that's it. And one one message that I probably have for people who are going through any type of mental illness, whether it's uh social anxiety whether it could be depression you're not alone there are people there to help you sometimes your parents may not understand but that should not stop you from being brave anybody with a mental health illness is a brave person because they are going through troubles that other people will never know about or probably know about but cannot perceive the magnitude of the issue but a professional is always going to be there He's always he or she is always going to empathize with you and bring you back from your pit of despair.